how to handle stress and so on. T emphasizes CAT and results. Emphasize the process. Right? Enjoy your learning to the extent possible. Take joy in learning number systems and geometry. Right? Take joy in cracking uh, separa jumble questions. Take joy in reading interesting passages. Take be thrilled when you are solving puzzles. When right? trained that it is very trainable. Some people get uh, are naturally like that. Rest of us will have to get trained to be like that. But it's very trainable. You can train your mind to be happy when you are doing some things. Do that. That will have a massive payoff. Don't burn your bridges. Don't say nasty thing to your project guide professor or the secretary of your boss, thinking, "Up to me, I'm going to finish cat and go off somewhere." Don't do that. Don't quit your job. Don't uh, rubbish your college scores. Don't do any of those things. De-emphasize this exam and the results. Think your life is going to go on without a fantastic cat score. Deal with life like that. Right. Get some perspective. And the world is being laid low by a, by a virus. India is struggling. Uh, some cities are struggling a lot. And so there are people who are not sure about uh, basic pay if things go like this for another two months. And scores of Indians are struggling to manage their books, to to manage their finances. In anybody who's on a daily wage laborer or who's a who's who someone who's uh, who's has a uh, some form of uh, blue collar job is struggling now fine so there are some who still got uh, who still getting paid even though they're not being able to contribute as much there are quite a few white collar jobs where 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 they're getting compassionate pay we can all get angry and riled up about the, a capitalist conspiracy but hey if you turn up and you work the guy will pay if he's struggling he's going to pass it on I, we, 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 we keep telling that uh, people who are paying, the employers should be kind. But if he's getting squeezed, he's not getting enough work done from people, he's going to request some of them to leave. And he can't get enough done out of people because they're not going to be able to turn up. Sooner or later, the pain is going to go from one source to another. It is going to travel. And so, if you're sitting here watching YouTube thinking about how to prepare for CAT, one way or the other you are in one lucky minority whether it's a one percent minority or a five percent minority or ten percent minority depends on how you view it but there are scores and scores and millions and millions of indians who are in a far worse position than 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 we all are i know it takes i keep trying to remind myself of that every day i get worked up every time i see something slipping in, in our office or an output or or, or what I want to do or, or some miss on some videos that I'm shooting, I get frustrated. Just tell myself I'm freakishly lucky. Fine. So please, sometimes that perspective really, really helps. And so keep that in mind. We're all incredibly lucky to be in whatever modest position we are in, in these testing times. It's incredibly testing times. Hang in there. Don't chase just productivity. Don't set too ambitious targets and set yourself up for disappointment. Uh, but de-stress yourself by saying, hey, this is not the most crucial thing in my life. Right? The wonderful other stress buster that I know of is work. And so if you have not prepared for CAT for a month, and you're getting stressed because of it, switch off from everything else. Spend the next week preparing each day for four hours. The stress will fly away. It will fly away like nothing else. Stress can't survive if you're working hard. It can't. It simply simply disappears. Sometimes you end up setting over ambitious targets even when you are working hard. Then you take stock and say, look, I am doing my best. If it's not falling in place, it will fall in place. I cannot be Batman and Superman at the same time. I'll make myself have slightly more modest ambitions and have a go at it. Right? So, combat stress. The other thing about stress is it creeps on you. Sometimes you 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 vested too much emotionally into doing well in this and every day a data point goes against you it's, it just it feel like something is constricting you not letting you breathe that happens to everybody it happens to happy looking people sad looking people successful people unsuccessful people everyone everyone feels the bite of falling and missing the mark vis-a-vis -vis their own expectations sometimes it's communal sometimes it's personal and so talk to people uh, do some form of physical exercise and do tons of work if you're working hard uh, stress can be kept at bay 
and very often the greatest solution to being stressed in in all these competitive exam contexts it actually turning up and working if you can look at yourself in your in the mirror on november 24 25 26 whatever the date is and say look i tried i prepared i could i've thrown a lot into this it falls my way it does it doesn't it doesn't i'm still good i know i can throw an effort and throw something then you won't be you won't feel stressed you won't feel bad about yourself on the exam and that's crucial so turn up and work stress also will go away